Hmm. And what we're not going to do yeah. with it is kill people, right? Jet. <laughs> Jet. Hello, Hello, lovely people. people. Welcome back to Haley and Stella. My name is Stella. And I'm Haley. And today we are back for another Avatar The Last Airbender reaction, fresh off episode two. Pumps up for episode three. We are going to Amashu. We've got, <laughs> you'll notice, I'm gonna, we're going to try to do some fun lighting things uh, and colors and, and whatever, but Sulavu. <laughs> um, last episode, we got the delightful introduction to Kyoshi Island, the Warriors of Kyoshi, and so... Obviously, that was a that was a fun one, um, and very enjoyable. We had some thoughts, some gripes, some comments, but um, overall, I'm just excited to get into this one. I don't have too much to say. Again, like we'll see what what stays the same, what changes, and we'll discuss why those changes might have been made. Um, and as always, if you want to see the full uncut reaction, it's up on our Patreon. So please go check that out. It really helps us out. Um, yeah. And I don't want to blab anymore. I just want to watch the episode. <laughs> Let's get into it. <laughs> Can just one of these episodes start off with like a happy, funny little moment? No. We strike Better tonight. <gasps> we don't have the numbers. It's Kevin from Supernatural. Oh. <laughs> I've never seen Supernatural. I want you to meet someone willing to risk everything for what is her happening? cause. She has lost too much. They're trying to confuse us. My mother and my brother. She works at the palace. Um, She's willing. Um, I feel like I recognize this actress from the casting. The Fire Throne Room is so cool. There is no way out. Have I not led us to the brink of bringing the entire world to ensure an era of peace? At what cost? Yeah, just kill everybody and then there's peace. Will it take another century of loss <laughs> and suffering? Do not speak to me of loss. Are you kidding me? I'm so sad. Sad boy hours. <laughs> yeah. I lost so much. Fire oh Nation have always prided ourselves on our resourcefulness. Azula. Azula? Yeah, that's what I thought. You can't release the casting if you want the reveal to be a surprise. Yeah. You no. can't do something like this, yes, but then father. also be like, here, are that's not gonna work. But okay, yeah. also slay. <laughs> She wasn't introduced until the very end of season one in the show. There Interesting. Because I remember waiting for her. I was like, the one who will I restore know that balance to the world. huge, and then she didn't appear for so long, and I was like, wait, yeah! did I imagine? <sighs> oh my gosh! Not the reflection in her eyes Bye -bye, like that. Kevin. What's this? Zuko has found the Avatar. Your brother has done the impossible, just as I'd asked. The water whip. Tap into your feelings and gather energy from them. Oh. Yeah, I don't want to see mom burn again. Like, we don't need to, to see that. Again. Also, they like, did it. you shouldn't have to it. tap into your, like, most deep, crazy trauma to be able to bend. Okay, it's time to go. We shouldn't stay in the same place for too long. <laughs> This is He's dad and best. the cat that dad didn't want energy. Look, I think, I think it's another airbender. He's so excited. He was headed north when he left Kyoshi Island. Well, he may be the avatar, but he still needs to eat and drink. The population center then. Wise words. No, mm, I don't like you. No one else can know of his existence. Understood, but if I may. You may not. Commander Zhao's ship has arrived. Perfect timing to the Fire Nation. I don't like him. Word is, Zhao failed his officer training program three times. Did I ask for your opinion? He's trying to give you the tea, Zuko. My apologies. Yeah, he just wanted to gossip for a little bit and I was down for it. Yeah, I was I like, wanted... oh, he did? Scandal. Yeah. He was gossiping about a superior officer. An officer you don't- I, You hate him! Yeah! <laughs> 
Omashu was carved out of a living mountain. Oh, that's so cool. What did I tell you before? How I'm sure he's fine. Out? What makes you think we're outsiders? Bro, look at how you're dressed. We're new here. We just could use a little help getting inside. It always works if a pretty girl asks you. Let's have at the turnip sack. I'm sure you can make that look good too. <laughs> Sokka's like, absolutely not. Game strongholds. These, these teens are Guys, so flirtatious. They have like one thing on their minds. State your business. Oh, wasn't a great crop this month. <laughs> she told me I wasn't watering the turnips enough. Irrigation, am I right? Uh, my my brother-in-law would agree if he could speak. Honestly, smart. Be like, Sokka, just don't talk. <laughs> Laugh so hard. All right, but... that's enough. Move. move along. Just annoy the guards with the stories. Those poor guards, they must be exhausted. They have to like bend the doors open every time just to let someone in. Be careful. Masha can be a dangerous place. There he is! Look! Hey! Watch out for my girl! My cabbages! I think he it's the same actor. To say it. I think it's the same actor, like the voice actor. I think it's the same You're not guy. Not your offender. Of course I'm not. What's his name? Teo? Is that his name? <laughs> I can't remember either. Well, I was confused for a second because I was like, was he not? Was he the first person we met in Omashu? No. I don't even think he was in Omashu. No. I think we met him in a bad way later. Combined everything together. <laughs> Tail! Tail! Are you alright? Danny Pooty from Community! I love Danny Pooty. How was I supposed to know there'd be another bombing? Nothing the Fire Nation does is an accident. Their spies are everywhere in the city. Dad's the mechanist to the king of Omashu. He's responsible for maintaining the best parts of the city. Oh. Well, we have our own part to play in the war. Writing? Which is why we have to go. Just promise me, you'll really stick it to the firebenders. Yeah, that's not really Aang's. Style. It's spring-powered, ingenious. I should have done that with our kayak racks back home. Yes, Sokka. Let us appreciate Sokka's smarts in this. Hey. Yeah, how are you guys just so oblivious and nonchalant about- well, I'm staying in Omashu because I want to help. Now tell me about these bombings. He's done nothing. He spent three years on an ocean Oh, Tylean! Hey! Oh All my of them together already! All dear old Zuzu wants is to make it back here and take away everything I've worked for. But now he has hope, and that's dangerous. Turned. My mother told me stories of the Avatar and how he'd return one day. I have a hunch about where the bombers might be gathering. My sources say an airbender was spotted there. Omashu. Uh-oh. Fire Nation spies. But that means um, the mechanism. Are we, are we thinking the same thing about this fella? Yeah. Could that perhaps be... Jet. <laughs> the hair is the same. That's yeah. all I can say. The mechanist has been working for the Fire Nation. Building devices, selling secrets. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that outfit. Look at those swords. <laughs> Who are you? You can call me Jet. Uh, yep. <laughs> no way. <laughs> All right, go do your thing. Rush into battle without thinking about it first. They're kind of like really, really combining a lot of stuff into this episode. Oh yeah. Well, and I was curious because like so far we've spent like one episode in kind of in each city. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Or town or village. But they stick around There's the cave for way longer in the series. Like there are multiple stories that take place at, mm -hmm. at and in between each location. Yeah, Jet, they're covering a lot of ground. And Teo so and his clumsy. dad, I don't think I sure either of them. Up. Or in Omashu in the cartoon. Numbered. No, and definitely like. Good thing I brought friends then. I don't know, the fact that they're tying all the stories together too is strange. <laughs> Oh, 
Get a water whip going, girly. He got his crew. They all look exactly like the show. Who are you people? We're the good guys. Anyone who has to say that <laughs> out loud Damn. might not be. Where's you taking him? <laughs> Don't worry. Pipsqueak knows how to take out the garbage. Yeah, I was like, they're gonna toss them off the side of the mountain for sure. An event here, all you need to do is install a bleed valve to regulate pressure. Your father must be proud of you. Who knows, we don't see him. Dad doesn't really pay attention to stuff like this. He's a warrior. The world is filled with warriors, but there are far too few great engineers. Welcome. You, got it. You, got it. you live here? Oh, we've had a few bases. There's his little iconic little, uh, like, piece of wheat or whatever that he always has in his mouth. <laughs> Grass. In the old days, the city stood strong. King lost his nerve. Grew tired. Senile. The corruption sprang up all around him. Boomy's like 112 years old. Cut him a tiny bit of slack. Someone was here recently. If you mix tin car with salt water and then boil it down, you get this. Blasting jelly. The firebenders weren't behind the explosion. Uh oh. I know what it's like to lose family too. It was quiet. The night my mom died. The full flashback time. You have to use everything inside you to help you fight. You remember when you think of your mother. I mean, when she was alive. Seeing her outside the hut, getting to work, preparing breakfast. Every day, she would stop when the sun rose. Remember that. We don't have to be afraid of our pain. We just need to decide what we're gonna do with it. And what we're not gonna do yeah. with it is kill people, right? Jet. <laughs> Trying some omashu barbecue. It's not often you get the opportunity. This is the great omashu. <sighs> the <laughs> I gather its charms are lost on you. Char Iro, what an amazing human. Yeah. He's like, oh, I what happened there? My lotus. I'm told that Fire Nation agents in the city have taken to sowing terror. Warriors don't hide their faces in a fight. Father would never approve of this underhanded tactic. Do you really know your father all that well, my guy? Yeah, really. It has come to my attention. Bro hit his face for like an entire season. I'd be in your debt if you kept me informed, particularly as it relates to Prince Zuko. The officer on Prince Zuko's crew, the one who slipped you the information about the Avatar. Is it the one that Zuko went off on? I think it's, I think it's the only one we've been introduced to. <laughs> introduced to formally. Teo and I found where the bombers have been getting their explosives. They're making blasting jelly in a cave up on the mountain. Jet's not the bad guy. Sai is. Are you kidding me? Sai has done nothing but help us. Listen. For all we know, Sai could be working with the King's men to root out spies. I'm so sick of you treating me like I'm a little girl. Then grow up. Where are you going? To prove you're a jerk. Well, I don't need proof for that. Um, Good one. Slack, I don't think that that did what you thought it did. Oh, but also, Katara would you like to try one with of a better right comeback then to prove you're a jerk? Mm -hmm. Come on. <laughs> Anyways, that's all. Oh my god. Oh my god. Zuko. <laughs> he scared me. That was a cool. I, I liked that shot. There's a lot of like stuff that looks really good. Jet, what are you gonna do? I know how to take out the garbage. I'm so clumsy. Are you hurt? No, no, no. No harm done. Okay. They're, They're going to blow him up? Yeah. He's got an audience with the gang. Looks like it's weak and some jelly. Sokka was right. You are the bad guy. Innocent people are gonna die, Jet. That's the price of freedom. Price we pay, Katara. Yeah, there it is. Like, bro. <laughs> Ugh. You were right. Right now, we need to stop Sai. Jet planted a bomb on him. What's the fastest way to the palace? It's at the highest point in the city. So we need to Oh, oh right Zuko! There. Go. Get to the palace and stop Sai. This is my fight. Mm. It, we don't have time to argue. <laughs> Not the pot 
battery. This is someone's livelihood, my guys. <laughs> I like how the people just in the background watching the fight. Yes, lady. So for that. Oh my gosh. Like, leave you. the kid alone. Ooh, this is interesting. Yeah, this is a really creative fight. So I said all routes lead to the palace. We just have to take this one to the end of the line. Ready? One. Ain't no way that would work. I'm so. It's sorry. even less believable. Yeah, like it wasn't very believable in the cartoon. It's even less believable here, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Stand and fight. Why is this so important to you? You're an enemy of the Fire Nation. That's not why. Been hunting me for three years. How do you know it's been three years? You have my notebook. <laughs> He's cabbages. My, my cabbages. Put his he put his whole soul into that. Oh no! Gosh. Why water whip water whip girly? Protect the king. To check, make sure they don't have other arrows just in case. Yeah. We must leave now. Go, save yourself. What? what I thought this episode was going to be. No, nor I, nor I. I was, well, I, I don't know why I was like, okay, it's gonna be Boomy. It, because right it is. Omashu is where King Boomy well, is. I'm, but I don't, but this is the thing. I'm, I'm kind of, honestly, I might be the perfect audience for this because I don't remember enough about the order of events that this stuff, mm. I didn't think this stuff was gonna throw me off, but this did, because this yeah. was like everything literally all wrapped into one. Mm. Yeah. But I liked it. I did like this episode actually, or parts of it. There were some parts that, that stood out to me. I liked Zuko and Egg's fight. Mm -hmm. I don't, I think that unfortunately, the things that are gonna be the strongest are those one-on-one -on -one moments. Um, because it doesn't feel like the pacing or the flow of the story is ne necessarily its strong suit. Mm -hmm. I like the fight. I don't know, I really, okay. So I, I don't know the specifics and you might, and if people in the comments do, like please give us the deets. But I do know that the different forms of bending are heavily inspired by different martial arts practices. Mm -hmm. Um, and so I, it was nice to see, but I can't, like a big part of going into this show, I'm sure for a lot of people, is the way that they like realize bending and make it legit. And so I'm kind of curious when it came to that fight, if there's anybody who knows anything about martial arts, hmm. what people's thoughts are, what the, how, how is the choreography? Mm -hmm. Like, is it legit? Is it inspired? Or is it just kind of like, we're just throwing stuff together? Um, because I'm, I'm, I liked it a lot, but I'm not a pro, so I, I can't say whether or not it fit like within the context of the story. Um, but also, just like I don't know, I liked the design of Omashu because it felt more like lively and had more personality than some of the other places we've been so far. Mm -hmm. It was just more colorful, I guess, and I feel like that's kind of been missing a little bit in the last couple episodes. I don't know. It just, it's felt very gloomy, not very colorful. Yeah. No, I agree. I really, really like the set design um, and like the setting. Yeah. I was like, it, it's, there's something really cool, especially seeing the like, I don't even know what the, the delivery system that they have also yes. come to life yeah. in live action. It looks a lot better than I thought it would, to be honest. Yeah, 
Um, but again, when it comes to stuff like that, they need to like, the, what's crazy to me is, is the stuff they're choosing to cut, but then they're like, we will, but, but also Sokka and Katara will jump from one, one like <laughs> cart to another. That's, to it another. doesn't work in this format. You just, yeah. and you, that's like a, ba- <laughs> that feels like a basic understanding of your, your, um, what is the word I'm looking for? It, feel, it feels like a basic understanding of the format in which you're telling the story. And I feel like we as viewers shouldn't be like, oh, don't jump from that cart to the other. Don't, don't do that. It's look ridiculous in movie format. <laughs> yeah. The, the people who make the TV show. They should know that. <laughs> I don't know. They should know that. They should anticipate that, I think. And so it concerns me because there's a lot of stuff that happens in the show that is not going to translate It's going to look, there's stuff that happens in the show that works in the cartoon and is going to look really silly in live action. And if they don't know what to cut and what to keep, we're going to get some silly, goofy, very memeable moments like in this, in this series. Um, And I don't know that I'm ready for that. (laughs) Yeah. We got a tiny glimpse of Boomy. Not much. Yeah. Like half a second of him in the background of a shot yeah his character is a ton, i don't know this is gonna be mean his character design gave me the heebie-jeebies a little bit gave me the creeps i mean because it looks very much like a young person in like old person got get up well, and make up that's how which, it is which like the actor who they cast is not old that's what i mean though it's gonna I, I, because he's got to do all these crazy stunts so of course he can't be old i don't know they're just the, as, the further I get into this show, the more I realize how crazy it was. And maybe if I had seen the original more recently, I would have been aware of this. But it's so crazy to adapt this. What the heck were you guys thinking? Yeah, no, it's, <laughs> it's nuts. Like, what were they thinking? And, and even going way back, like, I, I, I have no intention of ever watching the Shyamalan film. I don't want to watch the movie. You shouldn't. You really but shouldn't. just even, how do you, how do you, like... How do you think you could pull this off? <laughs> it's I don't, just uh I don't know. It's like the the world building is so specific and the me- like the yeah. mechanics of like everything like it's it's so hard to do live action cuz it's I think mm-hmm. it's so expensive to do it well in live action whereas yeah. in animation everything's animated anyway. <laughs> So you could just do whatever the heck you want and just draw it like a specific way. But in live action, you're like, well, I have to CGI this water doing this thing. Like with this stunt person, with this doing this. And like... The like atmosphere is so... It clashes because the show is for children originally. (laughs) And because it's for children, you you suspend your disbelief in the way that a kid does. Even watching this as an adult, because I saw this show for the first time as an adult, and I was like, okay, I will buy into every unrealistic, crazy thing that happens, all those like last minute life-saving whatever, (laughs) you know. But when you when you try to sell the show as like hardcore and for for an older audience and we're like the stakes are really high, but then you still do the same crap. It it doesn't work. It doesn't read the same. Yeah. Ah, so I don't know. I'm just like, this makes me want to go and analyze the structure of the original because this has made me appreciate how well that story flows. You know. Mm-hmm. Um. And I still like I still like the story. It's still impactful in this form. But there is so the the it's. I don't know. The original series is such a masterclass in pacing. And and this is a lot <laughs> happening at once. It, yeah, it's kind of weird because this is like, yes, it's much shorter in terms of like episodes, but the length of the episodes mm-hmm. are more than double what we had yeah. in the cartoon. So how is it with the same amount of time or even more time, it feels so rushed, it feels so thrown together, like... Come on. Like, I feel like a lot of Cause, a lot of these live action shows have been suffering because they're trying to fit so much in such a short amount of time. But this one doesn't even have that yep. excuse. 
No, and they're they're. It's weird because they're spending a lot of time on strange things and not much on some others. Like we got so much jet time, so much. Mm-hmm. He and, got one episode. And so far in the show, he got one episode like, in that's season big. one. And then he comes back, but like they did enough in that one episode to establish his character so that he could return, and then we'd like we'd be like, okay, we we know what this guy's about. Mm-hmm. He took up so much time in this episode. And you don't, it doesn't really feel like it fills a purpose. And then the other thing that is is getting me a little bit is you're right, like film is so expensive, but they're not sparing expense. Like they're like, we're gonna show every instance of bending. Mm -hmm. We're gonna show all the brutal acts. We're gonna show all the destruction. But the issue with that is that in the long run, it's gonna minimize the impact. We're gonna stop taking the bending seriously because we've been seeing it since episode one. So when, instead of having these moments of awe where we actually see how intense, especially firebending can be, I don't feel like it's gonna hit the same later on when we actually raise the stakes and people actually die. And like, there's an actual battle because we've been seeing it the whole time. That's just my take. I mean, I could be proven wrong as we proceed, but, It's so strange because I know it's Avatar the Last Air Bender. Mm-hmm. I know bending is in the name, but like maybe less bending and more people and yeah. more character. They built it up more in the show, I think. In the We keep saying the show is yeah. this, if as if this isn't a show. I know. <laughs> the cartoon. Know. And the other thing is I I really hope viewers viewers at home like we're doing the worst thing you can do when going into a remake or an adaptation and we are like Non-stop comparing. Yeah. But this also... How do I explain it? This isn't... They're not treating it like it can be watched as a standalone show. Like, they're mm-hmm. they're leaning into stuff people loved about the show. Like Suki and Sokka's relationship. Um, so it's clear that they want people who watched the show to like it and connect the two. But they... It's not as good. <laughs> and that's yeah. that's just the truth. Like if you want to remind us of something we really love, you have to do it justice or the taste that's left in your viewer's mouths is going to be kind of icky. They're just going to want to go back and watch the original again. Yeah. So, yeah. I feel like such a negative Nancy. I, <laughs> <laughs> I was scared this was going to happen. <laughs> Because I'm also, oh, especially man. watching stuff, there are some people, some some reactors who are more interested in dissecting and picking apart flaws of stuff. And I'll be so real, my brain does that. But I want what comes out of my mouth to be positive, generally speaking. And I think it's making movies, making TV shows takes a, so much work. And so we're very quick to disregard stuff like this and just point out the flaws. But there are some there are some great moments. I'm trying to recognize those as well. I do like how a lot of it is shot. I like some of the things they've added. The um, like the fight scene uh, among the fabrics. Oh, was super really cool. cool. And new and works with the the, the medium. The, yes, the, I agree. It, the medium. One hundred percent. I'm, I'm percent. I think yeah. If you're going to add stuff, do stuff that isn't going to translate as well animated. Do stuff that will look. Exactly. Like, way cooler in the live action. So you're justifying the adaptation yeah. of your doing stuff you couldn't have done in the other one. Um, For real. And, and yeah, understand understand your medium. Understand the depth. There are a couple of shots in this show that have felt really flat because they felt like they were inspired by a two-dimensional drawing cartoon. <laughs> and so you're like, the the and I, I'll, I'm, I don't want to sound like a, like a pretentious film person, but some of the shot compositions are kind of letting me down because we can play with so much depth in this. We can play so much with, with also the, the, the size and the scope of these cities and, and yeah. these, these villages and whatever. It feels so much super to play with. zoomed in a lot of the time. So you're not really seeing yeah. like these city streets, you're seeing like five little carts in a row and we're like, oh, that's yep. the huge big city. But it's like, ah. <laughs> Yeah, like what would be nice and they can do because they're very clearly willing to spend money on it. You can give us like 
a shot that takes us through Omashu. Mm -hmm. You can move your camera. It doesn't have to be. And they do it in the fight scenes because that's that's the way that you direct fight scenes. You, you can't really have a static camera if you're directing fight choreography in a film. It just doesn't always work. But they could use it so much more. And I hope, this is the thing. The fact that this is coming out in seasons, in sections, means that audiences do have a chance to say, hey, do this differently. And they, they can listen, but they might not. <laughs> so I'm not gonna, I don't know. I'm, I have, I'm not gonna let myself get too heated about it. Just cause this is the name of the game with, with adaptations. I need some food. My <laughs> Are you hangry? Grumbling. I think I'm getting grumpy. <laughs> I'm hangry. So I think let's call it there. Uh, we'll be back for episode four, which is, I didn't check what the name is, but I'm assuming is, is this will be the boomy episode. Yeah, it's gotta be, right? Because wait, in the... Wait, in the, in the original show, is it episode five? That they meet, it's something like episode five or six, because it, again, that's where I- It's pretty early, hit. I think. It's early on. Yeah. The fact that like we're we're four episodes in and they're now just, get, like it doesn't even feel like they're- <sighs> Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> I have to stop. Um, we'll, we'll be back uh, with more thoughts. Super positive thoughts, of course, because we're little <laughs> beams of positivity. But let us know what you did like about this episode. Let us know what you didn't like, if you didn't like similar things, if there was stuff that stood out to you. Um, and if you'd like to see full uncut reaction, it'll be on Patreon along with a bunch of other stuff, movies, TV shows, you name it, we got it. So yeah, please subscribe, stick around to watch us react to other things that we won't complain as much about especially me. I'll be nicer. <laughs> um, and we will see you all in the next reaction.